In the beginning, the Creator brought forth the shining jewels of the universe and all their secrets. One such jewel was the world that would be known as Septera. Its secret hidden within its core. Seven distinct layers of continents, called world shells, orbit the planet, each connected to the other by a giant bioorganic spine. At the center of all lies the core, an immense biocomputer regulating the movements of the shells. The Creator fashioned into this world a way in which man himself might one day inherit his power. He created twin keys that could be used to unlock this secret, granting the gift of the Creator, the Kingdom of Heaven. Every 100 years, the alignment of the upper continents creates a beam of light which penetrates the depths of the core, activating it for a short period. At this time, the keys may be used to unlock its secrets. Many men attempted to possess these relics, but the world was not yet ready. Then there arose one that the Creator and his host of angels could not destroy, Gemma, a fallen seraphim who captured the keys to the core. The Creator, in desperation, sent Marduk, his only begotten son, to Septera, and then left the affairs of men forever. After a battle that raged for a hundred days, Marduk defeated Gemma and retrieved the stolen keys. Teaching that the world was not yet ready for such power, he hid the ancient relics. But Marduk prophesied that one day, many millennia in the future, when the world was in grave danger, they would once again be found and the power they could unlock would save the world from destruction. That time is now. Duskius threatens heresy by his words, Emperor Aspertine. It is not heresy. The artifacts are meant to unlock the secrets of the core. Now that we have found them, we must use them. The discovery of the keys that Mardu gave from us so long ago truly bestows a great responsibility upon we of the chosen Marduk's people. But the next conjunction is over fifty years from now, and only at that time can they be used. So it was made. So it has been for millennia. This being so, I remain puzzled, Lord Darcyus. Why, after so long, must we expect that law to change? Perhaps our task should be to preserve the keys for the future generations that will be able to use them. Or does Darcyus intend to bring his awesome power to bear and create his own conjunction? Watch your tongue, boy. I am the direct descendant of Marduk, son of the Creator. It is my destiny to fulfill his prophecy. If I have to step over your corpse to do so, like I did your father's, so be it. Why do you talk so easily of corpses? How many lives must be wasted to achieve your ends? I very much doubt that it was Marduk's intent. Yes, please. Tell us how you will collapse time and bring the future to the present. Enough! My plan will bring light to the core in days instead of decades. Know this, Emperor Aspertine. In the prophecies, Marduk teaches that one of his blood shall arise to fulfill his words. I am the one who was foretold. It is my destiny. I will not tolerate interference by cowards hiding behind the wooden shield of petty politics. The power of the core shall be mine. He is a dangerous man. He may be of Marduk's blood, but bloodline does not make one great. But he will need the keys to fulfill his plan. Without them, he can do nothing. That is what we should fear. He will take them from us if he has to start a holy war to do it. Gunnar, can I count on your fleet? As my father's before me. Then protect the relics. You must not let Doskius change the destiny of the world to meet his own whims, as you wish.
chosen ship in a long while. Grub, we need to tell Uncle about this. But did you see it, Maya? Those ships are grown, not built. Come on, let's go before it comes back. Runner can get us home fast. I refitted his legs this morning. You should come in and see Uncle. He asked about you today. Zero hope, Maya. I have to work on runner sensors next time. Promise. What's up, I need I... to talk to Uncle. Is he here? Maybe. What's it worth to you? Uncle's in the other room, Maya. He'll be right back. Shut up, you traitor. You're cutting my profits here. Did you bring us anything from the junk piles? Not today, Emma. Tori, are you causing trouble again? Uncle. While Grub and I were out junking today, we saw ships in the sky. They were definitely battleships of the Chosen heading east. Why are they here again? What are you so afraid of, Maya? They probably didn't even see you. It doesn't matter. The last time they came, when Maya was your age, battles between their own tribes happened here. Mother! Mother! Maya, we have to find ships. Their ships strayed into our city, and many people died including your parents. Since then, we've been a city of orphans and elders. It took ten years to rebuild. We can't let that happen again. Whatever. I know. I know. You and Maya have taken care of us ever since. You can never let us forget. You're too young to really remember the devastation. As your teacher, Aziz, would say, history falls into cycles, my boy. Mayor, what's the meaning of this? Search the place. They're hiding in here somewhere. Good day, Uncle. Good day, Miss Maya. It's, it's a fine, fine day, day, isn't it? Yes. The fresh air would do wonders for you, Uncle. All right, all right, enough. We're not here to eat lunch. We're here to arrest smugglers. You'll find no lawbreakers amongst the junkers. I'm the mayor of this town, and I can do as I like. Someone is smuggling weapons from the junk piles to a city on the world shell below. Now, their greed is going to get us all killed. This has gone too far. Get out of our house. Now! Oh, don't think this is over. Where there's trouble, it's always the junkers at the heart of it. Goodbye. Oh, shut up. Where did Tori go? I'm not sure. Probably to class. A place you are probably late for as well, Maya. Perhaps you can ask your teacher about these ships you saw. <laughs> 